It, I, they said it's coming out on console. They didn't specify if it's, if it's coming out on Xbox. It'd be really funny if on Xbox, the numbers for Path of Exile 2 players goes higher than Diablo 4. That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. All right, let's check out the Ranger. Another range class that I don't generally play. So we just saw the Mercenary, and let's Let see the, the Ranger. Because I don't play guys like these. When we started to work on the Ranger, we okay. knew we had to make a class with high agility. Yes. The dream of fast bow gameplay is Legolas, so that's what... I hope they add, like, jumps and, like, special moves and stuff like that. Like, one of the things I really like, for example, about uh, the light bow gun, which I guess is, you know, relatively uh, an analog to, um, uh, you know, for, for uh, what's it called? Um, uh, Monster Hunter World, uh, is the fact that the light bow gun had a move where it, in Monster Hunter Rise, you would shoot the ground and, like, fly up in the air and be able to get, like, another perspective on anything that you're shooting below you. I thought that was super cool. And there's like a move like that in Ashes of Creation, which makes me, you know, want to try a ranger for once in that in an MMO in that game as well. Like things like that. Those are going to be really, really, really cool. Um, yeah. Okay. It is on Xbox Game Pass as well. Dude, that is hilarious. Existential. That dude. Phil Spencer is going to be pissed as shit. When uh, when Path of Exile 2 surpasses uh, any of the numbers for Diablo 4. That will be crazy, bro. What we wanted to deliver. The That's starting so point funny. is moving while shooting a bow. Any kind of basic arrow skill can be fired while moving okay. with a movement penalty. So just same exact as uh, Mercenary. This immediately gives you a lot more freedom on the battlefield. Yeah. Here, I'm starting each battle with a poison burst arrow to poison groups of enemies. Then using a lightning arrow to arc lightning around larger packs. That's cool. For oh, even... here we go. So it was a shoot the ground pop back. All right, now we're now we're looking. More mobility. We also have a variety of skills. Here we go. Vaulting around the battlefield too. This is frost escape. Using it jumps backwards and shoots a freezing yeah, arrow at the cool. ground. That's cool. Okay. Really useful if monsters close on you and you need to get away. Once you've landed, if monsters. There is an ability like this in Diablo 4. The Caltrops ability, you jump backwards through a bunch of Caltrops. And it, uh, and it's really fun to use. It is, it is unironically one of the really, really well-made abilities in Diablo 4. As we're frozen, it'd be nice to have some way to take advantage of that extra time. This is where Snipe comes in. Snipe is a Ooh, skill okay. shot that you need to charge up and release at exactly the right time. If you land the right timing, Snipe is guaranteed to produce a critical strike and does a small oh, nice. AoE as well, so it's a great finisher. You can also move while shooting arrow rain skills too. This skill okay. is Lightning Rod. <clears throat> it shoots an arrow into the air that sticks into the ground and does a small AoE. And it's lingering, so you can basically kind of use it as a pseudo trap and lead enemies through it. Once the rods are in the ground, That's though, cool. they attract any arcs of lightning that are nearby, causing them to explode again. Oh, it this means you can stack ability. up a bunch of lightning rods on the ground and bounce lightning between them, doing way Whoa. more damage. That's cool. That's a now really cool idea. This takes care of packs pretty well, but for bigger enemies, I'd like to have something that's going to enhance my damage output too. This skill is Stormcaller Arrow. Using it sticks an arrow into an enemy. After a short period of time, a lightning bolt comes from the sky like and that. strikes them. Welcome this is back, a high chance to shock them, and shocked enemies take 30% more damage from all sources. Ooh. That's a good debuff. Okay, it's like weakness. If something big or vulnerability, along, it's a good idea to throw one of these at them first to enhance your damage before following up with the other combo. By the way, this is how skill gems work now. You don't need to focus on getting like a chess piece with like 50 skill gem areas or whatever, and you need to link them and you need to add like little little thingies to do that. You don't need to do any of that shit anymore, apparently. And right now, what you can do is collect skill gems and put them into your abilities directly which is really nice. That takes out a lot of the bloat and overcomplication from Path of Exile 1 already. Now, if I really want to enhance this combo, there are a couple of things I could do using our support gem system. 
Yeah. Skills in Path of Exile are granted by items called skill gems. Here we Each go. skill gem has colored sockets in it, and these sockets are for other items called support gems. Support gems modify your skills, and it's where a huge amount of the customization of your character comes from. First, I'm going to really take cool. this multiple projectile support gem. I could add it to my lightning arrow, and it would fire multiple arrows. This would increase the number of targets I can hit, but that isn't the effect that I'm after. If I add it to my lightning rod skill instead, then when I fire it, I get a nice it group of rods. It makes a lot of lightning. This means that I don't have to spend as much. There we go. You don't have to. You don't have to, you don't have to prepare like five different shots. You can just shoot one and three come down. That's Time cool. setting up before I can use it with my lightning arrow combo. That's cool. I might also add faster projectiles to make the lightning rods land faster too. Here we go. Now next up, I'm going to grab this chain support gem. Chaining causes many effects to repeat on new targets when you hit them. If I add it to my lightning arrow, it will cause the arcs that come out of lightning arrow to strike even more targets, rippling along my line of lightning rods. You can just make a build just doing this the entire time. That, that's, that's dope as hell. For huge amounts of damage. This is really cool. Yeah, and also Hammer Shark, remember, this is a basic uh, thing that they're showcasing right here in basically what amounts to the demo showcase of the game. So every combo else that you can make is probably better than this. Now I think we can use support gems to improve Stormcaller Arrow as well. Okay. Let's start simple. I'm going to chuck less duration on here. This will cause the lightning from the sky to strike a bit faster. Ah, okay. Next up, we have a support called Shock Proliferation. This support makes it so that any enemies shocked by the skill will also have the shock jump to nearby enemies. More AoE. Take extra damage as well. More AoE. It's just a chance to proc, so it's not going to proc on every single pack. This this looks this looks busted. But when it does, a pack will go down ultra quick. Another useful empowering skill is Barrage. Barrage is one of the rare cooldown skills in PoE 2. It enhances whatever your next attack is to fire three times. I saw what he did there. That That's super cool. With what we have here, I think it might be a good idea to use it with Lightning Arrow. It'll generate three times as many lightning explosions. Exactly. You could... Hell, you might even be able to do it with Snipe and do three Snipes. You could also use it at just the right moment with Snipe. Oh, or yeah, Hammer Shark. Other skills, depending on There's a reason Path of Exile is considered one of the best, like, uh, free-to-play games, because you can play the entire game completely free for, like, thousands and thousands and thousands of hours. Exactly, yeah. What effect you need more of right now. It's very versatile and can be used in a range of situations. This is now, insane. Even as mobile as the Ranger is, it's still very useful to slow monsters down. And a Ranger certainly has quite a few tools to do this. If you're prepared to get up close and personal, we have a skill called okay. Electrocuting Rod. First, jump over the enemy and shoot it into them. Once the rod's in place, any lightning damage they take will build up a special Electrocute Gauge. Once the gauge is full, the monster is totally suppressed, allowing you to kill them easily. Ooh. Okay, suppression. That's cool. Now, sometimes when you use Electrocuting Rod, the enemy dies before you get a chance to electrocute them. I think there's another support gem I could add to my lightning arrow to fix this problem. Neural Overload will make it easier to electrocute enemies. If the skill it's attached to puts them over 50% of their electrocute bar, it will trigger it automatically instantly. does it. That's cool. That is really, really cool. You have to aim? Yeah, this character class is a skill shot one. Yeah, this is this is aiming. He's aiming with his mouse cursor. He's moving with WASD and aiming with mouse cursor. They added WASD movement for all the range classes in this game. Which is something that ARPGs a lot of times don't have. Path of Exile 1 does not have uh, WASD movement. Yeah, they also talk about this in the Mercenary update, and uh, you were not here for that, so I'll um, look keep a, keep an eye out for the video, and make sure your bell is touched on the uh, YouTube video, so you can get the notification when it goes live, Hammer Shark. Okay, buddy? And anyone else in here is watching the video. Now, Welcome. this skill works really well for suppressing a single large enemy, but I'd like to improve my crowd control ability for groups as well. Okay. I'm going to add a support gem called Frozen Nexus to my Frost Escape. Okay. This makes an area of chilled ground around frozen enemies. I'll also add deep freeze to it as well, which will make the freezes last a bit longer. There we go, yeah. Bell and Didaku. Now when I use my frost escape on that front enemy, 
others nearby are slowed down. That's cool. It would also be good if I had a way to slow enemies down when they're farther away from me as well. So this would be a great time to start getting into the ranger's poison and plant-based skill set. To start with, oh dude, look, at, look at the look at the vines. They're like they're like grabbing out and they're they can like yank back in. That is so cool. That is so cool. An arrow. It's like a web. The skill fires an arrow into the air that creates a small plant where it lands. The plant sends out tendrils to nearby that, enemies. That is so cool. That Jesus Christ. Slowing them down and Oh my god, man. You look at you look at this and you compare it to Diablo 4 and you're like, dude, it's not even it's not even remotely close. It's just not even remotely close, bro. Poisoning them. <laughs> it's just but it straight does up have not another close. Function too. If the plant gets further poison, it transfers that poison to the monsters it's attached to. Normally you would only be able to get one stack of poison on a monster at a time, but you can put as much poison as you want on this plant. You could just use the plant to slow monsters down and not worry about the poison part. But if you want to go all in on poison, this is the way to do there it. There you go. Now if you do want to focus on poisons more, another useful skill is Poison Bloom Arrow. This skill creates these plant pustules on the ground. If you wait a little while- They look disgusting, I love it. And there's probably going to be a way to like automatically explode them. Well, they'll explode. Just like any other plant skill, these plants respond well to poison. Okay. Shoot the poison burst arrow at enemies nearby and watch your plants grow more and more powerful. So you can grow the plants by shooting poison at it. Poisoning the pustules That's causes them cool. to do much more damage and makes them explode much faster as that well. That is cool, man. Okay. I can also add the pierce support to poison burst arrow. Doing this will mean I get multiple poison bursts as it goes through each monster. Yeah, the poison was chaining. I don't know if you could tell. That's cool. We also have another skill to make a nice environment for your plants to grow. Okay. Gas cloud arrow. Perfect. This skill shoots the ground and creates a cloud of gas that continuously poisons things inside it. Throw your plants down, then put a gas cloud on top. The constant poisoning will make them grow. Nice. That's pretty cool. Ranger looks really good at dealing with packs. Another Monty PM me and I'll I'll link you the other videos, okay, buddy? Poison related skill we have Discord. on the Ranger is called Plague Bearer. This is a reservation skill, meaning it uses spirit. Okay. When I enable it, I get this counter that counts up whenever I apply poison to a monster. You can for anyone who can't see it, it isn't up in the top left. I know my thingy's covering it. It just says like 9% right now. So there's like a little icon and it shows 9%. See the counter on the skill increasing as each new monster is poisoned. Now it's at 13, now it's at 15, now it's at Now 24. I'm gonna fight these monsters and make sure to poison them as much as I can to build up the You guys counter. get the idea. It does take quite a while to get the counter up to 100%, but it's worth it. Whenever I choose, I can unleash the poison and a big explosion around my character, That's dealing cool. a large amount of damage. Okay, so it's the charge up thing. I like that. That's cool. Now, next up, we have a classic. No, rain of arrows. there you go. It's simple. We Shoot all know a bunch that of arrows one. in the sky, and they rain down for a short time. It's decent AOE and damage at long range. Now this skill doesn't last too long, but we can change that. This is it's a classic. time to introduce Frenzy Charges. Frenzy Charges are used for a variety of skills on the Ranger, but with Rain of Arrows they can be used to extend the duration. How do we get some though? Here we have a skill called Sniper's Mark. Okay. Put it on an enemy and it will grant you a Frenzy Charge when you crit them. Huh. Now remember that Snipe skill from earlier? That skill guarantees a critical hit. So first we Sniper's Mark so an enemy, really, then really... we Snipes them. Yep. And after that, the next rain of arrows will last a really, really long time. There you go. That's cool. We still have some weaknesses, though. While rain of arrows hits enemies with a ton of arrows, each one doesn't do much damage individually. It would be nice if we had a way to break the armor on enemies so that rain of arrows dealt more damage. Thankfully, we have this corrode armor support gem, and we can put it on our gas cloud arrow. Corrode armor causes poison to erode the armor on targets until it's all gone. 
Okay. This will significantly increase the damage that Rain of Arrows does against armored targets. Nice. All right. Oh, yeah. And one more thing about gas clouds. They can be detonated <laughs> with explosions. I have okay, here we go. Now we're talking. We can explode the gas clouds. And I'm assuming we can explode the poison plants as well. There's a arrow here. Let's check it out. There we go. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Hammer Shark. No, they they, now, they want you to use it. Because gas clouds are likely to have their armor broken, I think there's another useful combo we can do. This is an exploit weakness support. This support provides extra bonus damage to targets that have their armor broken. Oh. Perfect for what we have going on here. There you go. So, those are just some of the skills nice. we have on the Ranger class in Path of Exile 2. Now that we've seen all these skills, let's see how well they do against a much tougher enemy. Now we've seen you, boss. It's time to fight the boss of the temples, Thanos. Thanos? Oh my god. So she stunned him with the frost stuff. Some fire, some poison. Nice. Kind of broke his poise, it looks like. Yeah, 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 Thanos, exactly. And then put the, the vine plant down. You can see it, like, right there. This is the vine plant. It has, like, vines attached to him. And also, his health bar is, like, really ticking down from the poison now. So it looks like it does stack a lot. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god, that was a big burst of damage on the combo. Oh, here we go. Dude. I was hoping you would explode it all. It's still really cool, though. Okay. They're doing the wombo combo? Yeah, exactly. Got him. Found your next. Yeah, shit, that was cool as hell. This is how you start. And that's the ranger. But oh yeah, there was one more thing. Okay. The mount. Check this out. We get like a bear. Yes, oh, we got a dog. A While riding the rower, you can shoot arrows with no movement penalty. It's pretty overpowered. Damn. You can also use your vaulting skills to jump right off the rower's back. Once the rower doesn't have a rider, it starts attacking monsters, so he's nice to have around, even if you're not riding him. That said, if you are riding, don't get hit. Can every single class do that? If you take a heavy stun while on a rower, you'll fall off, and it takes a while to get up, so be careful. So that's what we wanted Dude, to show Dude, I you love today. that. I wonder if that's something you can do in dungeons, or if it's just overworld. They didn't really say that. Now, there is just one more rather unfortunate bit of news. Path of Exile 2's beta is going to be delayed. By the way, this is from like months and months ago, so this beta already happened. Don't worry about it. It's it, this this is late. We previously said that we would get the beta out yeah. on June seventh, <clears throat> and while I think we would be able to get the game's content ready in time, we underestimated how long it would take to get gameplay polished to a standard that we're happy with. Look, delays can suck, but a game sucking lasts forever. 
So always, always, like I do not care about delays. We're still going to be doing alpha testing in June, but we're going to be delaying the beta until later in the year. I don't have an exact date for you today, but it should be towards the end of the year. In the meantime, you can still play Path of Exile 1, of course. There you go. That looks really Hold good, up. man. Today's stream will... That looks really, really, really good. Let the... What do you guys think, man? I, like I said, dude, this makes me want to play a ranger, and I don't play these kinds of classes at all. I don't even like these kinds of classes. This is awesome. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Be sure to hit the sub and the bell button if you want to see more Path of Exile 2 content. Um, I really like that lightning combo, especially. I want to do that lightning combo if I play this class. Uh, that definitely looks really, really fun. And maybe the uh, the vine, the plant vine that like you know grabs enemies. That was really unique. That was really, really unique. Hell yeah, that was cool, dude. Hell yeah, buddy. Well, keep an eye out for that video coming on up. And uh, it, like I said, I will see you in the next video. Let me know your favorite part in the comments below. What build did you go with or the ranger? I want to hear it all. Catch you in the next video.